am in Bay Park checking out Dan Diego's. It's a family-owned restaurant. It's been around for almost a decade. Now, they've got a lot of fans, including, apparently, their biggest fan, 10-year-old Presley, who says, I love your food, and I don't know what I would do without it. But not just the food, their workers. They're all so nice. So I'm going to go see for myself. Let's go. Jameson Mule. Oh, that's good. I wasn't aware I was supposed to order you anything. I apologize. No worries. <laughs> this is just like my normal lunch. Dan Diego's. I love it because you guys are so family oriented, right? That it's hard to tell, but your logo, 4B, Four Brothers. Four Brothers, the name of the business is based off of one of my brothers that passed away almost a decade ago. So we, in his honor, named the place after him. Well, they called him Dan from San Diego. Uh, Dan Diego's. Correct. You guys kind of pride yourself in being a really big family established. Your mom is in the kitchen. She's in there right now cooking, focusing on Irish, Irish pub, right? Yes. Yeah. I love the fact of being able to sit down, talk to somebody, have a pint with somebody, uh, have some good homemade food. I love the sense of community. I love the sense of being able to sit and talk to someone. I want to talk about the food. So you're oh going God. into our open face Reuben, where everything on that, besides the cheese, is made in house. Uh, we cure and brine out the corned beef for a minimum of 14 days. We actually prefer that it goes about 28 to 36 days to really have that kind of corned beef texture. We serve it on a house-made soda bread that is a honey-flavored buttermilk biscuit. And then the sauce that's on there is it's called Russian sauce. It's basically Thousand Island with horseradish inside of it. That is good. That sauce is really good. the famed soda bread here. Family recipe. It's actually the only recipe we do not give out. I'll give you any recipe you want except for that recipe. I can see why you don't give it up. That's really good. Oh, I need that one. <laughs> They're good, I'm telling you. Ryan, as we celebrate St. Patrick's Day, what do we say? Slancha. 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 Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> well, you have to work. I don't. I'm done for the day. And every good interview must end with dessert, a little bread pudding with Irish whiskey, some sort of whiskey sauce. I don't know, it looks delicious. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Slancha. Oh no. Oh no. Stop. You got a whole fridge full of goodness if you brought all that home. That is good mm -hmm. stuff. Mm. So, Netta, you've never had soda bread, no, right? What soda bread? Yeah, tell us. It's Well, you saw him make it, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, it's super popular, you know, with Irish people. But it's basically, it's just like eggs, butter, not soda, but like the soda, like whatever it's called, the powdery stuff. Um, it's spread. It's just really good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like it's, it's like the bubbly, I guess. I don't know why they call it soda hmm. bread. Because of the, the ingredient, the, the soda. The soda powder. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it looks good. It uh, looks very cozy. I want some right now. It's <laughs> really good. Um, and, you know, they're taking reservations for St. Patrick's Day. They may be booked up, but, you know, you can check them out another day as well. 